Tommy. Hey, Kevin, how are you? All right, so what are you thinking here? Bean bags? I'm Plywood? Not, we're gonna build a couple of cornhole boards. Have you ever wondered who the man behind the hammer on the popular home improvement show asked this old house is? Well, his name is Kevin O'Connor, and he's become a household name in the world of home renovation and do-it-yourself DIY projects. Kevin's journey to becoming a television and podcast host, author, and entrepreneur is nothing short of inspiring. Let's take a closer look at the rise of Kevin O'Connor. Kevin was born on the 1st of January, 1968 in New Jersey, USA. He has six siblings, four brothers and two sisters with whom he shares a close bond. He had a relatively normal childhood in Maplewood, New Jersey where he pursued a number of hobbies. He matriculated from St. Benedict's Preparatory School in Newark, New Jersey in 1986 before attending the College of the Holy Cross from where he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in History in 1990. He went on to attend Boston University and achieved his master's degree in business administration in 1999. O'Connor and his siblings grew up in a family of contractors and builders. His father was a civil engineer while his grandfather worked in the construction industry. His exposure to building construction from a young age instilled in him a lifelong passion and appreciation for the industry. He would often help his father and grandfather build and renovate homes, which equipped him with skills that would later come in handy. Soon after his college graduation, Kevin began renovating and flipping homes with a close friend. He enjoyed it so much that he eventually opened a construction company, running it for several years before returning to university. Despite being well known as a television personality, Kevin started his formal career as a banker. After receiving his master's degree, he worked for Fleet Bank as the vice president of the sports finance group for a few years, then as the senior vice president for the commercial real estate group at Bank of America until 2003. Kevin's career took a major turn in 2003 when he was hired to be the host of Ask This Old House. The show, which is a spin-off from the popular PBS series This Old House, features homeowners who need help with various home renovation projects. Kevin and his team of experts provide them with advice and guidance on how to complete the projects themselves. Kevin quickly became a fan favorite and his knowledge and expertise in the world of home improvement was evident. He has since become a regular contributor to this old house and has also appeared in several other home renovation shows, including Home Time and Renovation Nation, both of which have won Emmy Awards and been nominated countless times over the years. As well as hosting the longest running home improvement show in television history, Kevin's also hosted TV shows for the DIY and History's H2 networks. Kevin also hosts the popular podcast Clear Story, which features interviews with architects, designers, and other experts in the home renovation industry. Kevin's knowledge and passion for the industry make him the perfect host. According to Listen Notes, the podcast is meant to help homeowners understand their properties from a new perspective. During each episode, O'Connor and his guests variously discuss everything there is about every kind of structure, from water and its uses for building and maintaining homes, to modern plumbing and its impact on human health and the many uses of construction waste. O'Connor covers it all. His podcast is one of the most popular, ranking in the top 1% of most streamed shows. According to reviews on Apple Podcasts, the show received a rating of 4.8 out of 5 stars, indicating that the fans love it. Some of the most recurring reviews praise Kevin and his podcast for being practical, informative, and humorous to his audience. Kevin has also written several books on home renovation and DIY projects. His first, The Best Homes from This Old House, was published in 2011, and he's since written several others, including The Complete Guide to Kitchens and The Complete Guide to Bathrooms. He now holds a position in the editorial team of This Old House magazine, currently published by This Old House Ventures Incorporated. In addition to his work on television, Kevin is also an entrepreneur. He co-founded and is the CEO of the web-based tool rental company This Old Toolbox. The company allows homeowners and DIY enthusiasts to rent tools for the home renovation projects, making it easier and more affordable to complete them. Quite interestingly, his most popular role as a television host literally came out of nowhere. At the time, Kevin and his wife were renovating their home and after years of working on it, decided to ask for some help. The team appeared at their home and filmed an entire episode in which Jim Clark, the painter, helped them remove dilapidated wallpapers. Three months after filming, the producers of This Old House approached Kevin with an offer to become a host. He replaced the previous host, Steve Thomas, and has been the host to date. Aside from his impressive careers, he's an accomplished sailor, enjoys spending time on the water, and has participated in the Newport to Bermuda race and the Marblehead to Halifax race. He is also an active member in his community, serving on the board of directors for the Chatham Marconi Maritime Center and is involved in several other local organizations. 
Additionally, but unsurprisingly, he's an advocate for sustainable living and has worked with several organizations to promote environmentally friendly practices. Another interesting fact about Kevin is that he's a fan of the band Fish, has attended several of their concerts over the years, and interviewed the band on an episode of Ask This Old House. Kevin O'Connor has been busy in recent years, both with his work on television and his entrepreneurial ventures. He continues to host both hit shows as well as his podcast, Clear Story. In addition, he's been working on a new project with this old house called Start to Finish, a digital series that follows the renovation of a 19th century farmhouse in Connecticut. Kevin and his team take viewers through every step of the renovation process, from the initial planning stages to the finishing touches. The series has been well received by fans of the show and has been praised for its detailed and informative approach. As well as his work on television, Kevin is also working on his company, which has seen significant growth in recent years. He's still focused on expanding its reach and offering more tools and services to customers. If you're a fan of Kevin O'Connor and want to keep up with his latest projects and activities, there are several places where you can find him. First and foremost, you can tune into This Old House and Ask This Old House to see him in action. Both shows air on PBS and are also available to stream online. The host can also be found online with his active presence on social media sites. While his accounts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram each have a significant following, TikTok is his most popular platform. Kevin has had a number of his videos go viral, with over a million views of each. One showcases a unique pair of pants that can prevent a chainsaw from cutting into your legs. His video content ranges from home remodeling tips to rare glimpses into his personal life. Quite unusually, the TV personality doesn't post much about his family and personal life. Although they appear once in a while on his pages, most of their details are kept out of the spotlight. Kevin lives with his wife and children in a Queen Anne Victorian house in Hamilton, Massachusetts. Much of Kevin's wealth comes from his work on television, as well as his entrepreneurial ventures. He also earns money from book sales and speaking engagements, as well as brand endorsements through his social media pages. As for his income, the exact amount isn't publicly known, but according to authoritative sources, the man behind the hammer is estimated to be worth an impressive $5 million. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.